So I'm going to give you six, I should have done five, it's way easier, six tips on how you can maximize your return on investment with acrylic product, right? I'm not going to teach you how to market them necessarily. I'm not going to teach you what you should be doing, but I'm going to give you a lot of tricks and things like that, that you can make sure you're doing, that you're maximizing the return on investment with acrylic, that you are getting as much profit as possible out of your products. Make sure you got high conversion version, all of that. So you're probably wondering why talk about acrylic? They are evergreen products, right? This is not a holiday specific product. This is a product that can sell for every season, every situation, for any reason throughout the year. I am seeing people do things that are, are B2B, right? They are selling these to businesses, not even people. There is so much ability to this. I think my favorite thing, I hope I'm not giving it away. Someone's doing this Taylor Swift thing. It's hilarious. I love it. I go look at the orders that come in every day. And I love the Taylor Swift one. They're so cool. And no, they're not copywriting Taylor Swift. I'm going to be very clear. I'm not, not going to give away what they're doing. But if you're that person and you're selling the Taylor Swift stuff, you know what you're doing. Super cool stuff. I've seen, I don't, I can't give away what other people are doing. And I need to be very clear and, and be very careful that I'm not telling you what other people are doing. People are doing some stuff that is completely out of the realm of what Shine On products have ever done because these products are evergreen products that can sell for any reason anywhere at any time. Now, can you make a seasonal product? Sure, but you don't have to. You can also make evergreen. You don't have to wait for Christmas to sell these, right? We just had 4th of July. Lots of people were selling 4th of July acrylic. Who doesn't want to have a cool flag that you can have change colors and it says 4th of July or, or I bleed red, white, and blue or, or whatever, you know, that patriotic type of stuff. You can sell these for 4th of July. What's, what's coming up next? Labor Day? I think that's not until September. September. There, you can think of any reason to sell these. I mean, think about it this way. The start of the new school year is in August, right? I think kids start school in August. You could sell this for that. You can sell these for summer vacation if you want, right? Uh, you have what says, we're going to Disney World. And the kids get to turn it on. Sell these for anything. All right, so let's jump into my tips. Tip one, use the light in the base as a feature, right? You hear what I said? There? It's a feature. I'm talking things that would you'd normally talk about with a gadget. If it's a flashlight and it also has strobing, that is a feature, right? It's something that makes the product different. It adds something to the product. It gives value to the product, right? Think about how that light could be used with your product. What makes that light valuable, right? If you're selling to kids, it can be a nightlight, right? You've now taken an acrylic plaque, turned it into a nightlight. It is now a feature of your product that it has a light. If you're selling for like adults, right? You could sell something for like my 25th birthday that's coming up, uh, right? And I could, you could turn it on and it lights up different colors. It's now a party thing, right? I don't have them anymore, but you can see the marks where I used to have my LED strips on the wall. So when, not that I ever worked in the dark, which is why I took them down, but I can make my room light up a bunch of different colors, right? You, you look at people that are doing like Twitch and, and things like that, the streamers, they've got all these LED colors that are decorating their office and their workspace and their gaming areas. Why not have a cool sign that also lights up different colors? And it could say anything. It's a, it's a decoration, but that light is a feature. It's not just a sign you you put on your desk, it's now a light. It, it adds something to it. It adds an inherent value that allows you to make more money. A thing that sits on your desk doesn't have a lot of value. A thing that sits on your desk and lights up, it now has more value, right? This is a way for you to charge more. You can make more money by selling the feature, right? If you have, you have two, two variants, right? You have no light, and you have the light. If you're selling the feature of the light, you're gonna get more people buying that version, which means you're gonna make more money. So use the light as a feature to sell your product because you'll make more money if you do that. All right, my tip number two, get creative with 
product photo. You look at this, hey, that's cool. I think it's kind of boring. It's just a blue light, it's just a picture. You know, it's nothing crazy. And, and if you look at this, I've got four other pictures out over here without the light, right? To me, and if I if I I could probably get three other pictures with different colors and it's all the exact same image, right? It's kind of boring. And to your customer, right? If they show up and they are you you are trying to sell them on a product. So get creative with your images. Figure out ways to better show off the product and the features. Remember what we just talked about in tip number one? The features of your product. So when I say get, sorry, these are kind of fuzzy. This one on the left is actually a GIF, right? Get creative with your product photos. You can go create a GIF, right? You can take the images that we give you and you can generate a GIF where it's changing colors. That is super entertaining. That is something different. Not everybody has that. That makes me want to buy the light up version. That gets me excited about the product. Think about that. This other one, it's just a static image, but they took two, one with a light, one without. They cut them in half and put them next to each other. Said, look, it lights up. But, but you see how this is taking the product photos in a different direction. You are storytelling with these images, right? You are taking it to the next level and you are providing a value and you are selling that product. And again, this goes right back to tip number one, you're selling the feature of that light. If I come and I land on your product page and I see this GIF, GIF, whatever you want to say, I'm sure I'm doing it wrong to half of you. And you see this and you're like, that's cool. You're not gonna go buy the one without a light. You want the one with the light, right? You just converted someone to your higher, uh, more expensive product that has more profit in it for you. You made more money by doing it. You don't have to always just give what we, take what we give you, right? You don't have to settle for what we give you. We have limitations on what we can provide you. You know, we have to provide you images of it not lit up because we provide that variant to you. We have to provide the pictures of the different colors to make sure that you have them, but you can get more creative. You can see this little thing at the top. Look, it's on, right? On, LED on, LED off, right? This picture tells the story of the product, it's gonna help convert more people, right? And I'm gonna fly through these first couple of tips and then we're gonna get into it with some of the, the bigger ones. I saved the best for last, of course. Gotta make you guys stick around and watch. Can't, can't give away the secret sauce in the beginning. But please be creative. Go out there and, and look and see what, what, what else exists in this atmosphere. You, you can go look at a neon store and see what's a ne how does a neon store display their neon, right? If I'm gonna go buy a neon on sign. How do they just, they don't display it without it being on, right? They, they make sure it's on. If it changes color, I guarantee you they're showing you it changes color. And they're probably showing you in a cool and unique way that explains what's going to happen. And that's what this type of stuff, this type of stuff is doing. So, so think about that. Get creative, make your own angle. Don't, don't just rely on us on shine on to provide you with this get creative because that's what's going to set you apart from everybody else doing that type of stuff that's the stuff that's going to convert more people and convert people to your higher aov product with higher profit margins and you're going to make more money so get creative all right let's move on to tip number three. Oh yes this is one of these slides niche down right get specific this is one of those products i i, I honestly think you can go create an entire store with our acrylic and you can create an entire store with just acrylic, right? And you can go crazy and you can have a thousand niches in your store, right? And, and you can become the acrylic store. And, and that's where I say niche down because you can get very specific with things, right? Especially, I know my Etsy people are out there. I know you guys love to niche down. I've seen some of what you guys do and you guys are very niche down. And when I say niche down, I mean things like this, right? Nurses, right? You can go look in the print on demand space and find lots of nurse stuff. Why not make a nurse sign, right? You could do uh, horse people. I, I don't know why that's always a niche that I talk about. I've never sold something to horse people, but I just know that they're extremely passionate about horses, right? Um, I don't know, growing up, there was a girl that went to school with me and she was what we'd call the horse girl. And that's all she ever talked about was horses. So I know there's a market out there for people that just absolutely love horses, but you can create a little sign that sits on their desk, right? Hey, people got to work. 
right? Why not put a little sign on your set desk that says, I'd rather be riding my horse. And they can, every day they sit down to get on their laptop, they flip that on and they get a little chuckle to themselves. Like, yeah, I'd rather be out on my horse, right? So they put it behind them so that everybody knows when they're sitting there in meetings all day, they'd rather be riding their horse than in this Zoom meeting right? You can niche down that way. There you go. You have uh, biker chicks and this happens to also be religious, right? Niche down. You can do, I'd rather be riding my motorcycle. Um, you could put uh, Christian sayings and other religious sayings onto these. This home prays, right? There's stuff, there, there's those type of sayings that people will buy up really quickly. More, police wife. I mean, you guys know all of these, right? I, I'm the wife of a police officer, right? You've seen it on, on shirts and all that. Why not put it on acrylic? Gamers, right? Oh, like I was telling you guys with the, the different colors popping up and I'm on Twitch and I'm playing, I don't play video games, League of Legends. I think that's a game, right? Why not have my gamer tag, is it? I think it is, right? Or like maybe I've got a cool symbol or like this one's got, I think it's an Xbox controller on it. Why not put that? And so when I turn the lights off to play my game, I flip that on, I've got cool colors going. You can niche down with these and get very specific because it will work because it's it's not like, like no offense to jewelry sometimes jewelry can be hard to niche down on right especially in a direct response area because someone that's looking to buy jewelry it's much more specific whereas if you niche into i'm a gamer they'll buy it for themselves right it doesn't even have to be a gift anymore right it's thank you tammy for just making me feel like i'm still young and i know uh gaming stuff gamer tag league of legends and xbox so i got those all right you can niche these products down down a lot and you can go find those niches and um, he's probably not listening right now but if chris blair was here this is exactly what he would be telling you guys to do he loves to tell people to get in he always says everyone wants to go broad with their targeting and he goes no find a niche and own it you can own a niche with with the acrylic and so niche down all right oh look see i already got this is what i was gonna say go back to the print on demand roots right? Go look at the things that sold on shirts, on mugs, canvas, blankets. You can put it on acrylic. And this adds a gadget-like aspect to it with the light that's going to make it convert even higher, right? Not everybody wants a blanket that says, I'm a gamer girl, but they'll do the light up light acrylic sign. It's got a cool gadget-like feel to it, right? It's something that you'd put behind you and you turn on and it says something, right? So niche down. All right, let's go to tip four, customization. You guys saw this image earlier. We have uh, our acrylics are available in the Customly catalog. Now you don't just have to use Customly. I'll make it very clear here. You've got tea and blue. You can do it yourself. Shine on may or may not have something coming for you. Uh, can't get into that. But this one's kind of self-explanatory, right? Customize allow your buyer customer if you give your customer the ability to customize the product they will be building an emotional tie between themselves and the product which is going to make them buy it more right but if you build that emotional tie between your product and, and, and your customer they're more likely to buy this is why if you've ever done a buyer upload like dog tag when you land on the page we don't even give them half the information all we tell them to do is upload their photo because once they get to the next part they upload the photo and then we show it to them then we say buy it because once they see it they're gonna want to buy it right we've created that emotional tie they now see the picture of their granddaughter and they go oh i need that and they go and they buy it but you can also make it fun right there's a lot of different things you can do i think i'm about to show you a bunch of examples so i won't tell you all now let's go to the next slide so i can show you some examples i i love this animate feature by the way right here we've got star maps Ooh, ah. it says under this sky, it all began. I did not pull any of these examples out of a Shine On seller website. So you might see things that aren't available in Shine On, but this is all using customly. I do know that. So I do know that you can go and replicate every single one of these ideas that I'm going to show you. Um, but you can see this says under this sky, it all began. And then they get to upload, uh, I think how it works is they enter a date and a location and it, it generates, this is what 
the night sky looked like. Uh, they could obviously add Richard and Jennifer, and then they could add March 3rd, 2023, San Francisco, California, USA, right? Look at all that customization. The only thing that's standard is under the sky at all began. Everything else, the customer gets to build. When they see this, and customer is great because they'll show you what it's going to look like. When they see this, it's going to be really hard for them not to buy it once they see it. Next, again, like I said, you're going to see some things that we can't offer like this shape. But what you see here is it's a cool, I, you know, I've got a daughter, five-year-old daughter. It says, I am kind, I am smart, I am brave, I'm confident, I'm capable, I'm grateful, I am loved, I am enough. Those are some beautiful affirmations. I would love for my daughter to wake up every morning, walk over to her nightlight and read her affirmations before she starts her day. And the coolest part, she gets to have her name right there. And this one says Olivia, but like you can customize it and allow, allow that kid to have their name written there, right? Really cool idea here to just add that one little piece of customization and it's gonna help to convert your sales a lot. This one here, again, don't worry about the shape, worry about the concept. It says mothers and daughters, a bond that can't be broken. And then there's five people. You, I know with customly, you can select hair color, you can select shirt color, you can select hairstyle. And then they've got all their names above it. And under it says, mom, we love you, right? Wow amazing right like i don't that level of customization is huge and customly actually makes it really really easy for you uh, i know you can go in there and you can select like one to five people and then all the it, there's a lot of customization that can go on there and if you make it fun which designing out and, and designing out all the sisters or daughters is could be fun for the buyer you go oh that one looks just like kelly and oh that one looks just like Kristen. you know they're gonna have fun designing it, which means they're going to 100% want to buy it. Uh, this one, graduation, right? Nothing crazy here. It's a cool design. Uh, you can customize the graduate, right? I think you can customize the hair. It can be female or it can be male. And then you get to put their name, Emmy Thompson. You get to put the college they're either graduating from. I think this one's graduating from college, but you could say they're going to a college. You know, they graduated from Princeton with a bachelor's of science engineering, something like that. It's got a really cool aspect to build that customization. If I'm a grandma and I'm buying this for my granddaughter, she's going to get this emotional tie building this product to where she's 100% going to buy it. And then the last one here is the memorial side of things, right? Your light will always shine in my heart. That's super cute. You get to write Nana. You get to write 1950 to 2023. And then a photo upload. I mean, photo Photo upload is great. Photo upload, I see a lot, a lot of acrylic sales coming with photo upload because it works. If you get to put your photo on it, you're probably gonna wanna buy it, right? And it's a really cool feature. You know, customly has it, you go and you select circle, they can upload any shape they want. It puts in the circle, they can drag it, they can expand it, make it smaller, they can play with it, design it out. It's really user-friendly, but photo uploads a great customization to help convert your sales more on these acrylic products. All right, should we jump to tip five? I'm trying to remember what order. I think this is one of my favorites. I think I'm gonna be very, very direct with this one. You guys are probably gonna go, that's all you have to say. And I'm gonna say, yeah, that's all I have to say. Ready? Only sell the LED base. Don't sell the other version. Just don't even publish it to your product. Just only sell an LED acrylic sign. Get rid of the cheaper product variant that offers very little value to your customer, right? Just sell the LED product and go, I sell an LED acrylic product. That's the feature. That's what it's about. That's what you're buying. Don't even give them an option, right? When you go to publish the product and it shows you two variants, you can just uncheck the wood base and just leave the LED one. And you now have an LED product. That It's that easy, right? And now every sale that you get is your highest value product that you have. We already are getting take rates of like 50% or more on the LED base. So it's clear that people want it. It's clear that it sells really well. And if you do the other tips that I gave you and you're selling this as a feature, why would you even offer the other version? I mean, who's going to go, well, I mean, that's really cool, but who wants a light? Well, if you only offer it, they'll go, sure, 
I love it. Why give them a cheaper option? It doesn't provide, it's not like silver and gold where people, oh, I prefer silver and I prefer gold. No, this is a light. It's a light up a piece of acrylic. Just don't publish the wood base. Sell the LED base. Sell that as your product. Your product is an LED light up piece of acrylic. That's what you sell. That's what they're there to buy. Um, I think I have another sign of this. Less options means more conversion. The more options you put on your page, generally the less people are going to convert. Well documented that if you put 5,000 options that people have to pick through, you're going to get less sale. So if you make this, hey, you land on the page and you just click buy, maybe you type in a name or you do some customization and then you just hit buy and there's no option to pick, I want an LED base or I don't want an LED base. You're going to get more conversion. Like I said, if you follow my advice from before, you are now selling this as a feature. So it's a feature of your product. It should, doesn't need to be a variant. It's just, that's what the product is. It's easier now to focus on your product images, right? You don't need to show the versions that don't have a light because you're selling the light version. So now when they land on your product, all they're going to see is the product all lit up. It's going to get them excited. You don't need to show them the other version, right? Customize and buy. That's it. That's all there is to think about. I'm going to go, I'm going to customize it, and then I'm going to purchase it. This means higher AOVs and more profit, right? And I guarantee you, you will not see a drop of conversion. And trust me, if you talk to the people who are selling acrylics right now, there, there are people doing six thousand dollars worth of acrylics every day i guarantee you they'll go yeah i don't sell the wood base i just sell the led so why would you sell the wood base all right that was oh man that tip i bet you guys weren't seeing that coming you weren't you guys were all excited about other things and you heard it and you're all your brains are all going i need to go delete those off my products i gotta go back and change everything this is this is a lot to to, to take in all right if you're like having to like rethink your all the decisions you've made over the last couple of weeks right like i've been doing it wrong this whole time. It's fine. You have plenty of time to recover. It's not the end of the world, but I guarantee you, you make this change and you're going to go so happy that I did that, right? It's one of those that when you hear it, it makes so much sense. And at Shine On, we're, we're okay with that. We don't need you to sell the wood base. We'd rather you sell the one that makes you more money. All right, so now I'm going to jump to my final tip of the day. Tip number six, build a sales page. If you are selling one product, it's a light up LED acrylic sign. You don't need to necessarily, you don't need to just use our base out of the box page. Our pages convert and they convert well, but they're also built with the intention that you're going to have all the variants there. And you know, a lot of them, you can do a bit better, right? I'm not saying our stuff's bad because we've got engineers that work on it. We do CRO testing on it and they convert well. They're good pages, but they are a standard out of the box template. And we all know that you can make some improvements to those, right? So I say build a sales page, something that is different than just your run of the mill product page. Think about your product as a solution. What are you solving? I go back to like the kid's nightlight. You're solving the fact that your kid wants a light on in the middle of the night because they're scared of the dark. And trust me, I've got three nightlights in my daughter's room over there. They all light up different colors. Of course, somehow none of them are our acrylic sign. I don't know why I haven't gotten on that, gotten acrylic sign for her, but she's got them all. And, and, and like the solution is I need something, but I also want it to be something that like looks fine during the day, right? Like I've got one that looks like an owl, right? And when you turn on, it lights up different colors. I think, think one is like a rainbow, right? So you're solving that problem of your kid needs something that, that lights up at night, but then it also looks good in the room and it doesn't take away from the design and it's something your kid's gonna like, all of that type of stuff. On a sales page, and you'll, I call it a sales page, you can look at long form. But anyway, I'm saying your product page, turn it into a sales page. You can, you can tell a story on there, right? You can make up a fictitious customer who says, oh my gosh, I was so sick of my daughter's night lights that had to be plugged directly into the wall. And so they were behind her bed. I needed something that I could like move over. She 
She never likes anything. She wanted something that was specific. You can tell that story on a page and it will connect with people. You can also overcome objections. Well, why would I need this when I have that? Oh, well, sure, you can get the nightlight that plugs into the wall, but is that plug where you want the light? Or would you rather have that up on top of her dresser? Now you have a nightlight that's on a cord, so you can put it anywhere you want in the room, right? You can overcome objections. Also, multiple calls to actions, right? At the very top, you can have a buy now. You go down and you start talking about how it's a nightlight. You can put buy now. You can then go down further and you can start talking about how it's a movable nightlight on a cord that you can put anywhere you want. Buy now. You can go down below and say, hey, don't forget to customize it. Buy. You can keep going. You have multiple call to action. So as they're scrolling down the page, once they decide to buy, they can click buy. They don't need to scroll back up to the top. You, know, you can use anchor tags. Buy now. Click it. it. Takes you right back up to the top. You're right there so you can customize it and buy it. And you can go into detail about the product. This now gives you the space to take the time to write out a description that's gonna really sell the product, sell the features of the product. Hey, how many of you guys highlight the fact that there's a little button on there and you can pick what color you want. Here's all the different colors available. You can also put it in rainbow mode and there's a, a dimmable feature so you can turn the brightness up or turn the brightness down. Well, on a long form sale, sales page, you can dedicate an entire section to telling that. And, and so if you're like, well, I don't know, it looks kind of bright. Oh, look, you can dim it. Now it's perfect by now, right? That's what a sales page is going to allow you to do. And then my last thing is you can fill that sales page with a bunch of really big, cool images because I think it was tip two, get creative with the images. If you get creative, this new sales page is gonna give you the place to put all those pictures where you want them with the descriptions and the text right next to it to talk about it. It allows you to be more creative, put your product in different places, highlight the things you wanna highlight, all of that type of stuff, right? All right, Woo. get all worked up talking about acrylic. It's a fun product, I really like it. If you don't, if somehow you are watching this video, you don't have an account with Shine On, please go sign shineon.com register for an account and get started um join our facebook group if you're watching on youtube and you don't know what i'm saying when i say facebook group there you go go to facebook type in shine on profits on demand you'll find our our facebook group instagram facebook who knows i just signed up for threads i don't know if you guys know about threads we'll see maybe shine on will have a thread soon maybe not see how long it lasts